Good day viewers, I'm Dennis Chukwe Buka OKK and you guys are highly welcome to my YouTube channel. Please, if this is your first time of coming across my YouTube channel, Big Time Africa TV, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to turn off the notifications so that if I post any video, you'll be the first person to get the notification. Thank you. Alright, still on Lagos State Tour Centers. Like I said before, Lagos State Tour Centers are so beautiful. Like 100% of Lagos State Tour Centers have been to 80%. And uh, whenever you see me coming out on video like this to discuss about tour centers, just have it in mind that I've been to this place, I've explored there, I've enjoyed there, I've, <laughs> I've feel there, I've touched there, I've you know, I've caught some fun in that place. So coming out right now, coming talking about the tour centers is just to share my experience with you guys. Last time I discussed about Freedom Park and I've shared my experience, and today I want to talk about the Afro. Brazilian Cultural Center. Afro Brazilian Cultural Center is a museum where some historical stories about the returnees from Brazil and their items were conserved. Many of them back in the 1830s, and I was able to understand that the Brazilian returnees did not just settle only in Lagos State but also in Cotonou, Togo, Seme, and Ghana. But Lagos State has the highest population of Brazilian returnees in West Africa. Majority of Brazilian returnees are Yorubas. One of the leaders called Raymond Campos, who led returnees back to Popo Aguda in Lagos Highland, where they call the Afro-Brazilian communities. The returnees came back with a carnival called the Brazilian Bumba Mium Boy in 1881. Bumba Mium Boy is an interactive play celebrated in Brazil. It originated in the 18th century and involved into national wide festival. It is a form of social criticism where lower class Brazilians mocked and criticized those of higher social status through a comedic folklore story told in songs and dance. The symbol of the community is bull head being carried around by the masquerade during the Bumba Mumboy Carnival. Brazilian communities, most of these returnees came back with some certain food, skills, electrician, and they also came with their own language called the Portuguese Patois. It's just the Persian English and it's the combination of many African words. They created this language so that when they speak, the Europeans won't understand them. The area or road where Afro Brazilian Cultural Center is located is called Popo Aguda. And the name has meaning. Popo in Yoruba words is called area or road. Why the Brazilian returnees or people who came back from Brazil are called Aguda. Inside the Afro Brazilian Cultural Center Museum, you can find some of the returnees items like old record music box, bricks, some slavery chains, Brazilian carnival marks old music box used by the Afro-Brazilian Agidibo musician and some bottles used in exchange of 10 human during those days. Talking of Agidibo music, the original owners of the Agidibo music are the largest feature men. But the returnees fall in love with the music and learn how to play the Agidibo music and today Agidibo music is synonymous to Lagos I land. The painful part of it is that most of the architectural houses built by Brazilian architectures have been demolished, although only few remains and reserved for historical purposes. Afro Brazilian Cultural Center is a wonderful place to exploit, and um, thanks to Nago, Mr. Nago Osho, I respect him so much. He, I think, is the guardian or the custodian of this museum. If I is one of the best tour guides in Nigeria, so uh, whatever, whenever you want to visit this museum, you can go on um, Instagram, Facebook, just search up and go and show you. It's going to see him there, or you can still reach me out. I will direct you to him. So this place is a wonderful place to explore. I really enjoy uh, the hours I spent with Mr. Nago because he, he is a very good. In fact, should I use the word explainer? He loved, as in, he's very good in explaining. So. I'm going to be leaving a video after this so that you're going to be watching, you're going to watch how he explained or elaborate more about the things inside the museum. So ladies and gentlemen, they call me Dennis and please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
I love you guys. See you on my next episode. Thank you. Which you give you an idea of how old that house and the money oh. really was. And of course, this is called phonograms. You have gamophore records. The records you put on it are called gamophore records. And this is still working. It looks old, right? Okay. But it's still working. All you have to do is you put the winder and to wind it. So when it stops playing, now it's working. Just put this on it and it begins to work. So when it stopped, you wind again, you put this on it. Without um, electronics. No electricity, no wow. Electricity, no electricity. Wow. This was what we were using before the phone table that we have. Wow. And of course, see this bottle. This bottle is 1820. This is 1873. 1820, 1873. These are some of the items they were using as change for human beings. Wow. Of course, we talked about carnival. We do a lot of that in a football with an Afro-Brazilian interest and a community. That's why you see all these costumes. We have so many of them. And I'll be you. I don't know. The next will just fix me. I'm available anytime you call me. <laughs> so, this is the hero of the Akiriko music. This one. So, so, these are the popular Akiriko musicians on the island. Wow. And their names are written on it. Wow. You see that, like, Santos Tipe, Afro Brazilian name, Pereira, Serrano, the rest of them. Then this is the mask, the. Yeah, the boy. Buba, the boy. The boob, yeah. Yes, this is the symbol of the community. The boy's head. Okay, the symbol of the community. Yes, it's from this Bumba uh, boy, the bull's head. It's like the masquerade of the community. It's called the boy. Cha. This car, casa, this casa something. Yeah, yes, that was demolished that time. Yeah. yeah. And there's another name that in Kotonu we used to call it Casa de Papa. No, Casa de Papa is a resort. It's a resort, yeah. It's a resort. Nice place. It's in Vida. 